My name is Staff Sergeant Chelsea Murray Press from the 919th SOLRS. I am Airman First Class Manning from the Vehicle Maintenance Flight. I'm Airman First Class McLean from the Fuels Flight. And today we'll be demonstrating some Phase 2 ORE scenarios. My name is Master Sergeant Craig Wayman from the 6 LRS Fuels Management Flight. And in today's video, we'll be demonstrating on what you would do if you came across somebody who was unconscious, not wearing their appropriate chem gear, not wearing their gas mask, and looks like they're suffering from nerve agent poisoning. We'll be going over the treatment and administration of the Antidote Treatment Nerve Agent Auto Injector, or ATNA. The ATNA Auto Injector will be used to treat nerve agent poisoning, as opposed to the CANA Auto Injector, which is to treat convulsing. So there will be three sets of ATNA Auto Injectors issued, along with the one single CANA Auto Injector. The CANA Auto Injector replaces the Diazepam Auto Injector we were previously issued. Some important things to note about the auto injectors is to remove the safety cap, hold the injector in your dominant hand at a 90 degree angle, and firmly hold pressure until triggered. Do not jab. Hold the injector firmly in place for 10 seconds. On an unconscious patient, each auto injector administered will be placed on the outer pocket of the upper garment. This will be done so by sticking the needle in the pocket without penetrating the suit and bending the needle in place so that medical personnel can see what was administered. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Much like other videos, due to supply limitations, you'll notice multiple pieces of IPE equipment missing. This video will simply concentrate on the administration of the auto injectors. As Sergeant Perez and Airman Manning begin their sweep, much like the PAR sweep video we have done previously, which will be linked in the description, you'll notice that when Sergeant Perez notices that Airman McLean is in trouble, Airman Manning, who holds the radio, will then begin distancing herself from Sergeant Perez and calling it into the UCC. When Sergeant Perez gets to Airman McLean, she notices that his equipment is not properly donned and he is having slight convulsions. She also notices other things like chemical contamination on his M9 paper. The first thing she will do is immediately don his equipment for him. Once his equipment is appropriately donned, there is enough evidence and symptoms to show that Airman McLean has suffered nerve agent poisoning. Sergeant Perez immediately reaches for the ATNA auto injectors. If a symptom of Airman McLean's nerve agent poisoning was uncontrollable convulsion, she could use the canna first, which is the anti-convulsant, and will calm him so that she can appropriately administer the ATNA auto injectors. However, in this case, she is safe to administer the ATNA auto injectors. In this scenario, we will administer all three auto injectors and the canna auto injector, simulating that the ATNA auto injectors caused Amber McLean to convulse. It is important to note that when administering, do not jab. Once Sergeant Perez gets the ATNA auto injector, she will remove the safety cap. Slowly depress the injector into a meaty portion of the body, such as the upper thigh. Slowly and firmly depress until triggered. Hold in place for 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds is up, pull the injector out. Place the injector by bending the needle on the outer pocket of the upper garment. Each injector administered will go there as well. Depending which suit you have, the outer pocket on the upper garment could be in different locations. The needles will be bent without penetrating the suit. The needles will be placed and bent in the flap of the pocket. After all three injectors have been administered, along with the canna anticonvulsant, they will be bent and placed on the pocket flap as shown. This will be a subject for another video, but in the Airman's Quick Reference Guide, directly after treating somebody for anything, you always treat for shock. Again, subject for another video, but as Airman Manning was calling in the information to the UCC, the information could also be conveyed in a medical medevac 9-line report found on page 18.1 in your Airman's Quick Reference Guide. We hope you found this video useful today. I am Master Sergeant Craig Wayman from the 6LRS Fuels Management Flight. Thank you for watching.